Halt. You must wait until the clan leader summons you. He is... in talks. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Out of my... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Did Rex get a new voice actor? He sounds different. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak one spoken to. Aww. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. The animation glitched. He got hit by it and we didn't see it. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. <laughs> but you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown. Killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Yes. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now, but every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gadatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. So... So Rex is basically telling you the story. If if Rex died, it'd be someone else here and he'd be saying different things. So Rex is basically trying to reform the Krogan. Trying to figure out how they can prosper without killing each other. Which is quite difficult for Krogan because they're Krogan. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. <laughs> Where are you from, Welp? 
Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? <laughs> oh, look at these guys. Pretty cool guys. Um. I need Grunt back up to speed. What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Headbutt him. Headbutt him. Okay, bye. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. You'll let a tank-bred Krogan join clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank, did he, boy? This is his choice. Hmm. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. Yes. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? Um, I'm leaving come with us. No, we can't tell him to come with us. We can try though. Good to see you, Rex. Sure, you can't come with us. Wish I could, but I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. There we go. So Rex is a pretty cool guy. So there's two things we need to do. We need to talk to the scout and we need to have a shame. And actually there's something else too. We're not completely done here. There should be another shop right there. Before we do or before we get close to the side mission. Mechanic? Hi. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I could make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we'd kidnap quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. <laughs> I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Uh, Alright, so the mechanic needs a combustion manifold. Hopefully we find that during the missions. You never know. I straight ahead. Okay, they straight ahead. Now what? Alright, so there's a guy back here. Oh look. Urs is still here. Hmm. Four tech? In just problem. Krogan's hit by Genevieve. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you. Or anyone else. 
Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. It's not our fault. Your people are like that, Grunt. You nuked yourself before we found you. Uh, Pijack? I can punch the Pijack. Why, though? Okay. So this is his shop. No, but I want to talk to you. Who are you? I am Fortan, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot. But I don't have time to answer your inane questions. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, finally, someone understands. I swear, I am among brainless pijacks here, toiling among satyrs. I am the Lord High Researcher. <laughs> That's impressive. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordnance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. <laughs> Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. <laughs> yes, they can. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. Uh, let me just go back to this. For the new clan Salarians created yeah. Jennifer. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. Sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about him. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. So that's pretty good. So... Originally, he would have designed weapons, but Rex is making him, re you know, work on agriculture and medicine. Which the Krogan really, really need, given your planet was nuked by yourself. I don't think he's gonna give us a discount, either. Alright, assault rifle damage. Oh, I'm out of money again. 18... I need... Uh, I need 270,000... Credits. Well, let's buy the assault rifle damage first. Oh, what's this? And I need a lot more credits. Okay. It is. So what should we do first? I think we should do. We should do Morden's mission first. Let's do that first. We'll talk to Chief Scout. What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. You didn't say you were going to talk to me. I'm looking for a Salarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Salarian, poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Hmm. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? 
I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering. But it's not my call. Hmm. What's Clan Warlock's reputation? And how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly, like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. What makes Gold so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members like Vorcha. Ha! Huh, the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. <laughs> the Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. Alright, so when we come back, we're gonna take the truck and go do Morden's loyalty mission. But for now, Thanks I'm gonna for the save the game. Anything that gets rid of the damn off-worlders. You can take the truck over there. You need anything else? Well, actually, no. Can you tell me more about your duties out here? Fire away. Gotta let my peace cool off anyway. The other scouts wouldn't accept a commander overloading his gun while shooting at vermin. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan on Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Huh. <laughs> uh, did I... So what does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are. Oh, I already did. Think. Sometimes that means her okay, never other mind. times never mind. we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks. Don't exactly. your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, the clan's hope for the future is lost. Falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. So Rex is a pretty cool guy. All the other Krogans are just killing each other for no reason. Thanks for the information. Good luck out there with Warlock and the Blood Pack, human. You'll yes. need it. Alright, so when we come back, we're gonna do Morden's side mission by taking the truck. I'll see you guys there.